share play, focus modes, tags and notes, iCloud Plus, shared with you, FaceTime links, shortcuts app, quick notes, universal control, airplay to Mac, 3D maps, and live text, and many other enhancements to their operating system. Apple's finally released after months of testing the new Mac OS Monterey. In this video, let's go over how to install it. Now, I'm currently running the Mac OS Big Sur on my 13-inch uh, uh, 2019 MacBook Pro. Let me just open it up uh, to show you. So as you can see, I'm running the Mac OS Big Sur version 11.4. And uh, the way you would actually go um, about installing macOS Monterey, which just released yesterday, is uh, click on the Apple icon and uh, about this Mac, you should get this pop-up window. Uh, this would allow you uh, to press on the software update. And the moment you press on that, uh, the system should now check for any updates that uh, there may be. And typically, if you're jumping in from Big Sur and not from one of the beaters of the Mac OS Monterey, you're gonna have a pretty big file. In my case, uh, it's coming in at a whopping 12.13 GB. So all you gotta do is uh, just click Upgrade Now. As the OS is being downloaded, let's take a look at if your model of the Mac can run the Mac OS Monterey. According to Apple, any MacBook uh, that is early 2016 or later, MacBook Air early 2015 or later, Mac Pro 2015 or later, Mac Pro 2013 or later, Mac Mini 2014 or later, iMac 2015 or later, iMac Pro 2017 or later, should be able to run Mac OS Monterey. So just check to see if your Mac actually falls under the category and if it's compatible with the new Mac OS Monterey. I'll wait for the download to complete and upon completion, we'll come back and we'll go through the installation process together. So the download's finally completed. It was about 12 point something GB for me. Uh, the size could vary based on which version you're upgrading from and for what model of the Mac you're upgrading to. Um, but either way, once the download is completed, you should be presented with the screen that says Mac OS Monterey to set up the installation. Uh, click continue. So you click the continue button. You just go through the agreement and press on agree. And the moment you agree, it'll ask for a destination where you have to install the Mac OS. In my case, it'll be uh, the default uh, Macintosh HD. Uh, type in your username, passcode. And once you've done that, the installation process should begin. So as you could see, the installation is a pretty big install. So it's going to take Quite a bit of time so you could set aside your laptop and let the installation process run i'll get back to you if there's any problem that comes in or once the installation is complete all right so as you could see we're back and mac os monterey has finally been installed it took me about 45 minutes or so um, in order to verify let's just go to the apple button about this mac and you could see mac os monterey version 12.0.1 the entire process took me about 45 minutes and an additional 30 minutes to download the entire file. Uh, but if you've been through uh, the process of installing, you know, a Mac OS previously, it's the same. Uh, you know how it works. If you've not, hopefully this tutorial has helped you uh, and given you an idea as to how to install the newest version. I'm working on a video that will go through the newest features and talk about how the performance and the battery life is affected uh, with the Mac OS Monterey, so stay tuned for that. If this video has been helpful for you, uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If not, there's always the dislike button. Until the next video, stay safe, take care, peace.